Hi YouTubers, this is Nancy and I'm telling you about another swap I have going um, that I'm hosting over at Craft Happens for the month of October and this is going to be a Twilight uh, 6x6 wall art swap and you're going to do um, one 6x6 piece to represent each movie. So these are the four that I've done and I'll, I'm going to show you each one individually in a minute. Um, but these are not they're not tags, they're six by six squares and uh, no, with no holes, please, um, because I'm going to leave it an option for people to do other, other things with their pieces. I'm going to show you that in a minute. Um, and also, you're doing only one side. It's not a mini page. It's just a little piece of wall art. Ho hopefully, it's going to be dimensional. See all the dimension I put into that? This is my twilight one. And I just have Edward in the forest, and this is where he's telling her that, you know, his family is different from others of their kind. And she's just found out that he's a vampire. And then this one is my new moon. Lots of dimension, lots of leaves and ferns and uh, chipboard trees, and there's a, a moon there. I just try to use a lot of texture, because it's kind of like a little mini mini canvas or or a big ATC, I don't know, however you want to look at it, but you can fit, obviously fit a lot more on 6x6 six six than you can on an ATC. But you want to make them as dimensional as possible. And then this one is the Eclipse Meadow. And then this one I'm not real happy with. I might redo it, but it's um, this is for Breaking Dawn. And I really love the chess pieces, but um, I don't know. I got lost. I didn't know what else to... Um, to do with it. It needs more dimension. So I'm, I'm not really sure about that one. I might end up... I have another idea for this one, but I wanted to get the swap details up, so um, that's it for now. But these other three, these are the, going to be the actual ones that I'm swapping. And that one there, I'm, I'm not sure about. So anyway, my idea, one of my ideas, is to make um, actually another bigger piece out of it. For example, um, I painted this canvas um, last night. Actually, a really simple technique, and it's uh, eight by ten, and it looks really nice if you add. I actually love the texture. I don't know if I could ever recreate it, but it was pretty easy. And if you actually add, I don't know if I can do this because of my one hand. Oops! If you actually add the piece to it. Um, look how pretty it looks. You know, so you could like further embellish it and you could make, you know, do a 8 by, it's 8 by 10 and you could do an 8 by 10 for each each movie and have yourself a really, a really nice um, set uh, hanging on your wall. I mean, obviously you can hang them as they are, but I just think with, um, with a little bit of an extra uh, background against them, it would be really cool. That, I, that's what I'm going to do with mine. I'm going to try to make four more of these um, the same. Or also you could do a 16 by 20 canvas and, and put all four on there and, and, um, and um, you know, you could uh, embellish around it with other, other images and, you know, maybe like a film strip with images in it or more quotes. Um, uh, you know, whatever you wanted on a on a huge 16 by 20 canvas. So that's another possibility. I might do that as well. But I do like the way that it looks on top of a bigger canvas. So hopefully, um, you know, you might even have some other ideas. It could be really nice on the top of a, a cigar box even. It, you know, it could be the focal point on the top of a cigar box or on, on the inside cover. You can do lots of things, but you know, if nothing else, I would say just to put some ribbon on the back and hang them just the way they are. But just please don't put any holes, um, you know, because you don't know what the recipient of your of your piece is going to want to do with it. Okay, thanks for watching. If you want to join, the information's down below. Bye.